Right, Bob. Uh, Bart Panukin here. You called this number. Just... Yes, hey, Bart. How are you? Good. And yourself? I'm doing good. I actually have to, uh, we're going to have to start from scratch. I, what I got was a message you left at the president's office, and it talked about a, a DVD that you dropped off, and I, and I actually wasn't, the recording was not all that clear, so I didn't hear precisely everything you had to say. So tell me what's going on, if you would, please. Sure, no problem. Uh, so what's your last name, Bart? It's Bart? Finucan, F-I-N-U-C-A-N-E. S-I-N-U-C-A-N-E. That's S-I-N-E. No, no, F-I-N-U. F-I-N-U. C-A-N-E. Okay, and F is in Frank. Mm-hmm. Okay. And the first name is Bart. Okay. Now... You're on the speakerphone here, and I'm videotaping this, Bob. I'm just giving you a heads up there, okay? Okay. Now, the story and what you missed on the message, it's uh, censorship. Uh, in effect, I've been censored by the folks uh, running the uh, community section, community supposedly. Uh, actually, they don't understand the meaning of that word, and they definitely don't understand the meaning of free speech. The name of the DVD was entitled still condemning Galileo. You're going to have to spell that one for me, too. Okay. Galileo. G-A-L-I-L-E-O. Yeah, well, what was the first part? That's actually what I didn't hear. Still condemning... No, as in S-T-I-L-L. Right. Still condemning Galileo. Oh, still condemning. Huh? Right. I leave the G off at the end for the rhythm, so you can just put down... Apostrophe instead of the G. Still condemning Galileo. Okay. All right. So. And, and, you, and when you say um, the TV, are you talking about the public access station? FL public access uh, station, right. And when did you drop off a video? I dropped it off January of this year, and at first Frank was very uh, welcoming, and. Uh, then he stopped returning phone calls. He was supposed to call back on a Monday night. Three weeks later, I didn't hear. I called back, and I'm given the runaround. I was told it would have been played within a few weeks. They never set a date. I found out through a friend that they played it in June after the students had left. So technically, they fulfilled the obligation, but they were in total denial of the spirit of it. So, you know, they're being slick, and it's called disingenuous, and they're trying to get around the fact they didn't like what was on the tape. Now, they obviously don't like scholarship. Are you familiar with the story of Galileo? Uh, it's so I'd have to be reminded, quite honestly. Okay. Well, it's a question of legitimate and illegitimate authority, and the Roman Catholic authorities of the day condemned the scientific research and results that Galileo, the scientist, came up with. Okay, and uh, during the lifetime of John Paul II, uh, he apologized. It was 247 years later. So I deal with that uh, historical perspective, and I bring it down through the ages to the Scopes Monkey Trial, and then into our modern day uh, drug war, ho uh, the uh, phony drug war, and I point out that the uh, the basis of that is racist, that marijuana was made illegal to get rid of Mexicans in the Southwest during the 30s. Uh, coke and heroin were made illegal because African Americans were referred to by Anslinger, the first drug star back in the, star back in the 30s. Colors were looking at white women twice. I uh, use strong language to emphasize the point, in other words, the creative use of language, and apparently folks didn't like the message and our language, the way it was delivered, so they decided to abort it. So I'm just getting a press release ready uh, to talk about the censorship down here at the uh, public access station at FLTV. That's why I called up the president's office first to give, uh, saying that she's going to be the one responsible, and it's going to be her name, and I didn't uh, want to do anything 
without giving her a chance to respond. So now you have the story, Bob. All right. Let me just go back on a couple of things. One is, let me just clarify the role of the, the conference. She had no role with the FLTV. Um, FLTV is a community organization, and its only relationship with the college is that it's located here. Oh, okay. So then she's off the hook totally. She's not responsible. Yeah. students were gone. Okay, it was supposed to be aired in January. That's what I mean by technically they were fulfilling the obligation, but it's being cute and being slick, being disingenuous. All right, that was supposed to be on at the end of January. Someone there didn't like the content, didn't have the decency to get back to me, didn't, okay. didn't, didn't send the DVD back to me. Okay, just ignored me totally, and I guess they thought I was going to go away. So, obviously, I'm not, and now I'm getting ready a press release, but now I have the facts in terms of the relationship to the college, and I can uh, honestly say that that woman has nothing to do with it. So, this is entirely on the people down there, public access. Frank and that advisory body, that guy that was supposed to be representing the college on the board, Hill, I think his name is, a Professor Hill, and he never bothered returning any calls, period, to get students involved. The way Frank was talking, it was like, hey, marriage made in heaven, You've got some good ideas there, and uh, we have students looking to uh, get experience, you know, and I have this on YouTube. You can check it out for yourself on YouTube, you know, at homewithapoet.com. So, uh, what's that address again? Uh, the website, youtube.com. Well, yeah, I'm sorry, the name of the video, though, or how? I'm, I'm giving you the whole thing so you can get to it. You, YouTube.com slash user slash at home with... A poet. Okay. All right. So that will give you the channel. Click on the channel, and at, at the still come down in Galileo, uh, that uh, videotape will come up. Okay. Now let me just ask you: Is this a, a tape that you produced yourself? Yes. And how long is it? It's one hour. One hour. Right. And I want to clarify too your understanding of, about uh, what it was supposed to air. Here's I'll tell you what my understanding is that, is that you know the FLTV will put everything on the air that's submitted locally. Although it's, it has limited airtime, and so it just gets things in when it can. Now, I I don't I don't know that there was any kind of a, and I will, I will talk to Frank about this, but I don't know that there was any attempt to uh, Bob divert it Bob from January to uh, to June. So. Bob, please. Mm -hmm. Okay, it was supposed to be on in January. Nobody returned calls. They stopped communicating with me. That left February, March, April. Okay, there was no problem with it when I spoke with Frank with getting it on in January. It'd be two or three weeks. That was the time frame. Did he tell you that it was going to go on in January? In the beginning, yes, two or three weeks when I dropped it off there. He was going to get back to me. All right, so I could expect four, five, six weeks even. That was still put it in February. Nothing. No word back, no call back about anything. 